once I heard that it was this event called Scribble Jam, which I wasn't really up on. You know, I was in, I was really into like Bay Area music at the time. I was listening to a lot of Three Times Crazy and E40 and Yuck Mouth and things. So there wasn't really too much of a freestyle battle scene in California. I knew about Project Blow, but that was something kind of different. I went to Amoeba Records in Berkeley and I copped, they had VHS's of the Scribble Jam DVD, which were dope as hell because they had live performances, hella dope ass graffiti, and on top of that, the freestyle battle competition. I think the first one I got was 2002, where uh, Mac Lethal faced Dos Noun in the finals. Brisbane and Claws, if I'm a soccer fan, bitch, you just got kicked in the balls! Fuck it when I punch it! I'll rap for 30 seconds, then I'll take your throat and cut it! My throat and cut it? You're so whack you shouldn't flow in public! This man is shitty! I'll give you a bus ticket back to Kansas City! Stop shouting, schmuck! I should let you know that your fucking album sucks! You couldn't rap for weeks! You're so ugly you look like a modern art masterpiece! Check it out, Toxic! Talk about my album, motherfucker! You bought it! Wait! I can't be thin! Talk about Kansas City with well, your Auntie M! Remember when I'm getting applause? Go back to my state, you're the Wizard of Oz! And just that, th that was the beginning, and from there I just looked for anything Scribble Jam related I could find, and this was even before I was privy to what was hot locally in California because as far as I knew I was going to every hood and serving MCs I was entering every little competition there wasn't nobody as dope as me and there wasn't really anybody that was on that shit so you know it was really just Scribble Jam and uh, the website obviously mcbattles.com where you could get horrible quality audio files of random battles and that was pretty much it that's all we had in battle rap you know what I mean there was probably a few of us a few hundred of us that were even into that subculture Oddly enough, a handful of us wound up being the people that defined that very subculture years to come. It's funny because it was actually the homie Iruku Saki who was one of the main competitions of mine as a battle MC in the Bay Area that told me about a website called rapmusic.com but he said don't get sucked in the vortex. Don't do it Lesh, don't get sucked in the vortex because it's a whole bunch of opinions and a whole bunch of crazy shit. Well, needless to say, I went to the Bermuda Triangle of the internet and never came back. I got fucking lost. Rapmusic.com is where I saw where everything was at. I wound up meeting this guy named Philip Drummond who showed me where, you know, Scribble Jam was at now and the dope top MCs of the local Fresh Coast scene. Dudes like Thesaurus, Immaculate, Passwords, Franco, No Can Do. And uh, frankly, my fucking mind was blown. Well, this is all freestyle and it's all skill. You fuck my girl on a DVD, it was called If I really want to prove that I'm as an elite of an MC as I am, I'm going to have to go against these guys. But at the same time, I was damn shook. These dudes are really on a very, very high skill level. And it was going to, this was going to determine whether I was an elite battle MC or not. Now, at the end of the day, like, I feel like I did my thing. I had an influential career, but I'm not on the same level as these dudes. Like, these dudes really set the blueprint, and I appreciate even being mentioned in the breath. I say as a freestyler and as a rapper, overall, I got my, my, I got my skills. But, free, but, but as far as, you know, overall battling, like, these were the dudes to beat. To me, like, it was just a part of hip-hop culture, and proving myself as an MC meant having prowess within the circuit of battle rapping, you know, especially I was in a crew, Delinquent Monastery, Delmon crew, you know what I mean? Out of that crew, I was the dude that battled, and somebody had to hold it down, so I never really looked at it as something that was going to be big or not. During the whole 8 Mile era, everybody was like, okay, this is a fad, and that became a frame of reference. My whole goal with battle rap was hoping that it would transcend the 8 Mile, like, oh, it's like that movie 8 Mile, and people would just view it as something that was what it was, which was a dope art form and an integral part of hip-hop culture and just entertainment at large, so it was never like, am I going to see this get big, you know what I mean, it was, it already was what it was, and 
how could I just make my mark within hip-hop through battle rap?